All right, hi guys. So I know it's been forever and uh, the last video was the vlog style, I'm pretty sure. Today is Monday, no, Wednesday, um, May 11th already. I'm gonna try and edit this today so it's up. If it's not, it's probably gonna be up tomorrow morning. Um, anyway, so biggest news first, why I'm even doing this video, I didn't have a video planned just yet. Um, but as those of you that follow me on Instagram, I woke up to a pretty big milestone here on YouTube today and uh, I hit 800 subscribers. It's insane. Um, I remember just like a month ago or whatever, I was just like trying to make it to 500 and here we are at 800. It's crazy. Um, I had a little post and like I'm just trying to explain as to like how I'm feeling about all of this and it's like it's kind of overwhelming just because this, I never thought this would happen ever, um, to be honest, like, I started this whole YouTube thing because I wanted to keep a diary of what we're going through, what we're struggling with, uh, something to look back at, um, whenever, like, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 years down the road, uh, for however long YouTube will be here, I guess. And the more videos that I made, I guess, I was just, I don't know, um, hoping that, I don't know, if I was helping one couple out there not feel alone and see that they're not alone going through all this then that's what this was for but to end up like a year and a half ish later with 800 people following along with our journey and rooting for us and supporting us and sharing their stories with us like it is such an amazing feeling and I think each and every single one like if I could say thank you 800 times I probably would but my voice would probably be gone so I'm just gonna do like thank you times 800 um I don't know if it's like 801 or whatever right now um so yeah it's like it's amazing um so thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button make sure that those of you that are watching this right now will subscribe if you haven't yet um, it's just such an amazing community to be a part of and I try to like reply to most comments and questions and messages and emails and Instagram DMs and what else there all is right um, it is just so nice to see like how many friendships have like built out of this too um, like I want to say most of my closest friends these days are all from YouTube like I've never met them but you just have that connection that, it, like, I almost want to say an intimate connection that you don't have with anybody else. And it it is because, like, we're all going through the same thing in, like, one way or another. Yes, some of us have been struggling longer, some of us do different treatments, but our end goal is still the same. And just to see how great all of us come together is such an amazing thing. So, I'm so grateful. Well, both of us, Matt and I, are so grateful. To be a part of this and to get to witness um like how many friendships were being built and all that fun stuff so um thank you guys so much again for following along now i don't know if i put this in the title yet or not i guess you guys would know um i did already plan to do like some kind of giveaway at 500 subscribers now that happened right around uh the last pregnancy slash chemical pregnancy slash miscarriage um so as you can imagine uh, i obviously didn't feel like coming up with something so this is will be my first giveaway I've never done one of these so um, I guess some of the rules will be like I guess make sure that you are subscribed so you know when exactly it'll be up um, make sure you leave a comment down below I guess to let me know what you would want me to do as a giveaway like what would you like to see me give away um, depending on the size, I might have to limit it to like North America because I have family in Germany and I know how much shipping is, even for the smallest little box and it takes like four or five weeks to get there. Um, if we come up with something small enough, uh, I guess we could try and see how much shipping would be, uh, if the winner was somewhere else, but, um, most likely depending on what you guys want to see, um, it would be just North America. Um, I don't know, like, I've never done one of these. I don't know what you guys want to see. Uh, should it be something personal from me to you? Should it be something TTC related? Uh, I know some of you are already pregnant though, so TTC related stuff doesn't matter to you guys anymore. So, I don't know, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll pick a couple and, like, see which one I want to do. Um, 
I don't know, it could be like a pick-me-up package or something cute, like makeup related or fragrance or I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see and we'll figure this out. Um, obviously, if by the time we figure this out, I get even more subscribers or whatever, we'll make it a little bit bigger one or maybe two or whatever. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Make sure you comment and like let me know. And I've say, been saying that like a ton of times. <laughs> so, um... As far as TTCing, I guess I should get back to that now too. Um, well, to catch you guys up on everything that has been going on, um, I don't even know what to catch you guys up on. So, I obviously like I have the new tattoo, which is like hard to see, I guess. Like, I'll try to bend it a little bit. I don't know, focus. But it's just healing up right now, it's a little bit like scabby and stuff, and there's some line that need to be fixed because like, I just, it hurt. Um, but I, I think we're going in there like, first weekend of June. Um, so that's that in regards to the last one. Um, as some of you might know, I did go against my doctor's orders and started the Femera. Um, I plan to uh, chart but I did not get around to that this cycle what else so I don't know if I ovulated or not today should be cycle day 21 um, usually this would be my old day uh, like before now with another miscarriage I don't know what's gonna happen I had some cramping I want to say cycle day 17 or 18 or so I don't even I'm not even keeping track right now um, but I don't know if it was like real O pain or not, um, TMI. The last couple of days I've felt a little bit more wet down there, which is usually like a sign of O coming. Yeah, I haven't felt any like O pains or anything uh, like I did last cycle. I remember like sitting on the couch and going like, oh yeah, there it is. Um, that might also be because I want to say last week today, Today's Wednesday, yeah, around something like that. Like, um, after the second miscarriage, um, I told Matt that I wanted to do, like, some changes. Um, like, I have obviously put on some weight. Uh, even if you go back and watch, like, my first couple of videos, I, my face is even a little bit thinner. I can't say, uh, like, my doctor called me, like, morbidly obese. And, like, yes, if you look back at, like, way freaking pictures from when I was 14, um, I was fairly thin, and even back then people made me feel big, which when I look back now, I'm like, I wish I was that size. Um, but I can't say that I'm like, oh, really, he, like, I would never call myself more, like, more really obese or whatever. I'm curvy, uh, I have some pounds to lose, but I'm not, like, I never, no way. Um, so, anyway, like, I... It's not that I feel uncomfortable or anything, but hearing that weight can cause an issue in regards to miscarriage, and this being our second one, uh, Matt's put on some weight, um, just like with all the stress that has been happening in our lives, I guess it was easier to grab a bag of chips than some fruits or whatever. So, um, and we both haven't had the time to really exercise either, I haven't taken the time to exercise, so that doesn't help, obviously. Um... So that is kind of the change that we have been making, plus we're really bad for, well I've always been that way, but like at least I was exercising more in school and stuff, um, but we drank pop like all day long. Um, Matt drinks water at work, but that's about it. I started drinking water at work, but I just worked for like the last month. Um, so yes, we have caught out pop, um, there'll be like the random pop, but like compared to the freaking like 10 cans a day or whatever it was down to maybe one if that at all um, a day is a huge change for us. Uh, we've been making that for like a week now. Um, I, oh, we also joined a gym, which is really exciting. Um, I picked the gym kind of like a town over-ish, but because it's more of like a quieter uh, town and it has a pool with it too. And me personally, I love swimming and I used to be really good at it too. So I'm trying to get back into shape for that. Um, well, get in shape with doing it just to get better again. Um, plus, like, all the cardio and stuff, and it's been nice going with that. Like, I usually meet him up after work, or we go on the weekends. Um, in the last week, we went, like, what, four times now? One of those times for me was swimming. The other three times were actual gyms. So, yeah, we're actually doing pretty good. Um, 
I'll guess like I think we're gonna weigh us ourselves like weekly um, I'm kind of a little bit paranoid because I've been reading up on what good exercises you can do with PCOS and supposedly there is a lot of women that literally eat healthy and do everything right and exercise and they do not lose a pound um, so I'm like <laughs> I'm still gonna lose like this momentum if I don't see my scale going down. Um, but yeah, like I think Matt wants to lose like 40, 50 pounds or whatever, and then for me, I want to lose like 30 to 40 ish. But we'll see where it goes. Literally, like anything is a gain for us. If that any losing is a gain for us, I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, as far as the cycle, I guess, like like I said, with like being sore from the gym and all that stuff, I haven't had really time to focus on when I'm owing. Uh, if I am owing, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, first of all, obviously, like I forgot that one dosage with Ephemera, which I took the next morning, so like 10 to 11 hours later than I usually would, which was the first time that ever happened to me. Um, so I don't know if that affected it. I don't know if the miscarriage is now messing with my body. I have no idea what's happening. Um, I don't know if I'm going to owe on time, I I don't know if I already owed and I'm like past ovulation, I have no idea, literally. Um, I'm kind of panicking a little bit because I hope that I am at least owing um, and then I get my period in time that we can keep going. Our plan right now in regards to this whole gym and weight loss journey, um, we kind of want to take the summer to focus on that and then get back into like really trying in the fall slash winter when it's like shittier out and you're just like bored and you don't want to get off your butt and whatnot. Because um, right now, I don't even know if I mentioned this on here, I think last weekend, yeah, after I got my tattoo, our landlord actually came and said that he wants to move in for sure, so we need to be out of here by August 1st. Now, uh, the rental market around here is kind of crazy lately with the economy just being awful and people rather selling their house rather than renting and having the debt on top of everything. Um, so yeah, we've been struggling to find something, uh, especially in our price range because people have just been jacking up prices, which is just rude. So yeah, like with all of this going on right now, honestly, our minds aren't really completely set on TT seeing, um, it's not that we're not trying, it's more of a we're not trying, not preventing kind of thing. Um, obviously, like, we're trying to be the around all, but me not knowing what all is kind of just leaves a blank canvas. Um, but yeah, whatever happens, it happens. If it's supposed to be, uh, will happen. Um, I am planning to cancel my appointment next week, uh, just because I haven't done any of the blood work. And I'm not planning to right now because, like I said, there's just too much going on for me to focus on this. Um, once again, if you guys want to see more frequent updates, like just quick little notes here and there, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Um, and yeah, just let me know about the giveaway and all that fun stuff, like I said. And yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys really soon. Whether I do feel some all pains or I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I do plan to test like when my AF was usually due and see what happens if she doesn't show up. Uh, and also if you have any more video ideas now that there is like 800 people of you and obviously not all of you have been around since the beginning so if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to comment down below and ask them. Uh, if there's enough questions being asked I might as well just do a Q&A video so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in to learn more about me and my journey without having to go back and watch all the videos. Um, thank you guys again for sticking around. I do love you all and I wish I could give you all like each and every single one of you a hug right now. Um, just the amount of love from everybody has been putting both of us in such a great mood all the time. It's so nice to read all the comments and I know like I've been slacking at replying but it's just with everything going on I haven't had time to. I am planning to get more back into it and connect with each and every one of you Morgan um, to make you guys stick around too. But anyway like if you're new make sure you subscribe to watch this journey and make sure you leave a friendly comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye guys!